And a back. Check email. Make sure there's anyone else setting something up for... Uh, Right then, so we need a meridian. We need to go back to the Nexus. Now orbiting Gadara. So this kicks off the, not the last mission, but the second to last mission. We have three arcs, since the Slayer arc hasn't shown up yet. Human, Turian, Asari. So there's a fourth everyone else arc, or the fifth everyone else arc that's on the way, that we're not getting because of DLC, because that was a DLC mission and we're not getting it yet. Wonder where that went. Or the otherwise, in the sense of, not the sense of where did it go and why isn't it here? Or as far as why is it missing situation? But, well, where would it park? Because the big four are docked around the central hub. So it's interesting. Um, from a narrative standpoint, no matter what, you are definitely getting the Solarian and the actually one more additional task we have here that I can work on. Um, we definitely have the Solarian arc, and you are definitely getting the human arc. But the Asari arc. And the Turian, Rider, I've got news about Kerry. But the Asari arc and the Turian arc are optional should you choose not to do those characters' loyalty missions. My team and I serve it. Hakeem, Kerry's producer. I'm the one making you look stunning for the documentary. You... There's a hitch. Kerry's been arrested for conspiracy to incite Man, what? unrest. She's in a cell at the militia headquarters. Any chance you could stop by? A visit from you might shake things up. You know, for a guy named... Remember, Kerry's down in the militia cells. She'd probably For a guy named Hakeem Barakat, you look really white. I have a bunch of cash now to burn, so let's, let's spend some of this. Any new paint jobs? There we go. Violent step. Solarian design that can hold the... Uh. Let's buy both of those. So they will salvage. Okay, let's get that.
Let's get that one. Ah, it's always nice to have a remnant description key handy. Ah! Bottle kits! I, I really like imagining, um, <laughs> um, uh, Sarah Ryder in her quarters basically doing the equivalent of gunpla. System shield bypass unit. Hmm. Shield booster's nice. Those are nice. Like, I got a ton of cash. And shield boost. Not gonna use that one. That works. And then mods, everything. F. Let's do six or lower. Except for scopes. There's five or lower, because we got the scopes for... Now you are s level six. Keep one of you, because I'd like to have some of the scopes available. Oh, nope, never mind. Fucking mods. Right. Fine. Yeah, okay. Cleared out a bunch of crap from my inventory. Let's go deal with the producer. Authorities continue work to establish contact with our Milky Way descendants. As of now, beacons confirming arrival in Helios remain unanswered. This is HNS. Hmm. All personnel be advised. Get my game here, so don't pick really stupid. So if I pick stupid decisions, I can fix the problem. I'm sorry, Lance. Oh, hey, Ryder. Hakeem said they arrested you over the documentary. 
Guess I tweaked the lion's tail too hard. You had to tell the truth, whatever the cost. You did what was right. You know, they've had other people in the cells. Rioters, people crying and scared. Me and my truth did that to them. So you're just going to sit there? This is how your work ends? What? No. Hell no. Maybe I could use this. Thanks for coming, Ryder. I I'll send word if anything changes. I will put in, put in a good word for you. In the meantime, speaking of Director Tan, Waiting for you. Careful. Oh. Ryder made a sentimental choice saving those Krogan. She looked at them and thought of you. Ryder's her own. Oh person. god, Just wow, Tan, you you're like a dick. <clears throat> the Pathfinder. Ryder, we were just discussing your encounter with the Archon. <sighs> that went badly. There was no time to save both. I had to make a decision. Such is the burden of leadership. Nevertheless, it is good to see Ark Parchero reunited with the Nexus. Yet I have to question what we gained, provoking the Archon like this. He had a map showing the location of Meridian. Now we have it, and a short window to get there. It's the control center for the terraforming network. If we get that working, all our problems are solved. Based on what data? This is all alien science. The vault on Aya suggests that Meridian is the key. While I appreciate what you've done for our strike teams, we're not equipped for a war with the Cat. They'll be defending Meridian with everything they've got. This is how we beat them. The Archon doesn't know how to bring Meridian online. He can't control the technology. I can. Vaults, maybe. We don't know if Meridian works the same way. And attacking the Cat only to find out you're wrong? Then there's this Sam of yours. What? We took a Cash? chance letting AI get involved. Frankly, I'm uncomfortable with just how involved it's Oh, come it's on, become. Cash. I like you, Ryder. I really do. But I can't support your plan. Then I will. And so will I. I agree. Ryder deserves a chance to try. I applaud the gesture, but you answer to me. I hope you understand. What's the matter, Tan? Don't want anyone else overshadowing you? It's not called the Pathfinder Initiative. The chain of command has to be respected. That is all. Why am I surprised? I don't exactly have a plan B. There may be a way. Pathfinder, apologies. There was an urgent message for you. They said your brother is awake. What? Go. We'll talk later. In okay. the tech lab. So this is a big narrative beat. Scott. Sarah. Touchy-feely time. Don't you think you slept in long enough? I thought it was Saturday, then Sunday. Then I figured someone turned the alarm off. Well, I sure missed having you around. We've hit a few rough patches along the way. I'm sorry I wasn't there when Dad died. No one could have saved him, Scott. I wasn't even sure I should tell you. I'm glad you did. That would have been a hell of a thing to wake up to. I'll miss him. But right about now, he'd be telling us to stop moaning and get on with it. There's no shortage of things to do. Yeah, I hear you're the great and honorable <laughs> man, Pathfinder. Please, it's nothing like that. 
As soon as I get my gear, well... Be careful. No way are you fit for duty, sir. You need a chance to mend. Yeah, says who? The Pathfinder, that's who. Time to rest up. That's an order, Specialist Rider. <sighs> Pulling rank already. Better hope I never tell anyone about that year you only ate paste. Was it first grade or second? <laughs> you can keep talking if you'd like. Just no arm wrestling. <laughs> Ryder, this is Pathfinder Ricks. We have some ideas about Meridian. Come by the tech lab as soon as possible. Will do. Hey. You feeling out of the loop, I imagine? A little, though I've heard bits and pieces of things from Harry and the med techs. Sounds pretty serious. Just the fate of the universe. <laughs> Just the fate of the entire initiative. Every man, woman, child, and everything in between facing certain extinction. The usual. Oh. Well, I'm sure the Pathfinder yep. manual covers that. <laughs> yeah. We'll have it wrapped by lunch. There's a race of aliens called the Cat. They're led by a scary nutjob named Archon who wants to turn all of us into them. We both want Meridian, which is the heart of an alien terraforming network trying to activate. We do that, maybe we live. Look at my big sister being all proactive. Meanwhile, I'm mastering the art of peeing in a plastic jar. <sighs> Feeling homesick at all? Still trying to get my sea legs, but I think about what might have been if everything hadn't gotten screwed up. What do you think would be different? Well, while you were looking for Prothean artifacts, I was standing watch over a Mass Effect relay. Hell of a thing to stare at every day. I'd dream about what was on the other side. The adventures I would have. The things I would accomplish. But when everything got screwed up, well, I guess I'll never know. Well, good news is, if you'd stayed there, then you'd been sitting at the Mass Effect relay when the... Um, when the Reapers came through, and your fa and you'd get the last words of "Oh shit, it's the Reapers!" before things went to hell. Screwed up how? Start with mom dying. I never cried so hard. And dad? He was never the same after that. He put so much into Sam to save her, but well, AI's as illegal as it gets in the Milky Way. After the Alliance kicked him out for it, everything changed. Suddenly, being Alec Ryder's kid was a black mark. You and I were never going to live that down. You should also know, Dad was keeping some secrets from us. Like what? Turns out Sam is even smarter than anyone knew. And Dad juiced his connection to Sam. It's a lot more powerful than other Pathfinders. So is mine. I guess Rank has its privileges. What was Dad up to? Dad encrypted some of his memories in Sam. I've started unlocking them. What were they? You and I were there, so was Mom. You actually saw her? It was at the hospital the day she died. And that reunion dinner she wanted us at so badly. Right. Dad was his usual talkative self. But there was something else. I saw Dad talk with a benefactor in the Milky Way. Some initiative bigwig I'd never heard of. That's news to me. Yeah, I'm still hoping I can figure out what it all means. I thought maybe we could talk about Mom and Dad. Sure. What about them? Thought you might want to know how Dad died. I was going to ask you. Habitat 7. There was this alien terraforming machine that had us stranded. Dad figured it out and shut it down. That saved us our ass. Then, all oh, hell broke loose. My helmet got smashed. I couldn't breathe. I was suffocating. Then Dad gave me his helmet. He sacrificed himself? Mm -hmm. I never really knew with Dad. He could be so distant. I guess he loved us more than we knew. When it mattered yeah. most. Yeah. What do you remember about how they met? Well, she was in the Alliance, researching early biotic implants. That's about the time she met Dad. He was on Earth for N7 training, I think. 
He says he swooped in and swept her off her feet. Had a whole bad boy in uniform vibe that was irresistible. Dad? <laughs> I guess it worked. They got married. Then the first contact war started, and he was sent off to fight. After that, we were born, and Dad was posted to the Citadel as an attaché. What do you remember about Mom's biotic research? Mostly that it's the thing that finally killed her. Biotics weren't unknown back then. So were the dangers. All sorts of rare diseases hit people working around Ezo. Mom was trying to design implants to help people harness their abilities. She was a pioneer. And she actually gave it to him. Besides the Citadel. What do you remember about growing up on the Citadel? Big space station chock full of all sorts of aliens. Scary at first, but pretty soon I was playing laser tag with Turian and Solarian kids. Looking back on it, maybe that's why I'm here. The Citadel showed me life has no limit on possibilities. It made me ask, what else is out there? You still think about mom? Yeah, especially now. I wonder what she'd say if she could see us. Dad talked about her before we went on our first mission. Really? After she died, Dad seemed to shut down. He hadn't talked about her in years. He loved her. I think he was just lost. We all were. Well, I'll let you take it easy then. Yeah, you wouldn't believe how slammed I am. Got a nap, then doze a bit, then try to catch up on sleep. <laughs> It'll get better. Not before you find that meridian. I want in. I'll take pictures. All right. Here's the important bit. This just unlocked. <laughs>